video inputs from you. And any further information that you provide during the sections is optional and will be captured by UTS for teaching and learning purposes for staff involved. Uh, to share questions and response that uh, may be uh, important with the border communities and to build on um, and online test categories of questions and answer for the benefits of other prospective students. Uh, by taking part in these sections, you understand and acknowledge that your information will be used for the purposes detailed above. And further to this, the recordings of these sections may be published online in addition to an online test um, catalog of questions and answers. In being involved, you are consenting to the recording being publicly available. You may withdraw your consents for this at any time by contacting the um, contact below. If you do not wish to be involved or be recorded as part of the webinar, you may contact UTS at this email um, instead to discuss to any questions that you have. All right, and during the webinar, if you have any questions about the uh, course, about the program, please type your questions into the Q&A, which you see at the bottom of your screen. Um, and we will try to answer the question as soon as we can. All right, so um, welcome again for those who enjoyed um, this webinar late. And uh, my name is Johnny. I'm the acting uh, course director of both graduate certificate in construction management and also graduate diploma in construction management. Um, actually, these two courses, graduate certificate in construction management and graduate diploma in construction management aims to provide graduates with management skills relevant to the operations of construction management uh, and construction projects. And the courses actually provide a pathway for people that who um, have construction industry experience, but do not have any construction management qualifications. Or for those people who have qualifications in another industry, but who want to transit to the construction industry. All right, um, so let me start with the graduate certificate in construction management. Um, in this uh, program, uh, students must complete, 20, com must complete 24 credit points, which make up of four compulsory subjects. Um, they are the construction technology and regulations and construction management, which is in the autumn semesters. And in spring semester, um, there are two more subjects, which is time quality uh, and risk management and construction cost planning and controls. And each of the subjects will carry six credit points. And all together, when you finish the, all these four subjects, you will complete 24 credit points. And for graduate diploma in construction management, and student must complete 48 credit points in this program, and which make up of like 42 credit points of the core subjects, and also an, um, another six credit points of an elective. Um, in addition to the subjects I mentioned um, before, um, um, in this diploma program, students need to take another four subjects, which is the uh, project communication and HR stakeholders, uh, one elective, and also two subjects in spring semester, which is the managing project contracts and also the project integrations management. And students can do it both um, either full-time or part-time. If you do it part in, in full-time mode, um, you, uh, you will complete the program in one year. If you do it like part-time, you need to do it in uh, two years and you take two subjects per semester. So all together, um, you need to complete 48 credit points, um, which includes seven core subjects and one elective, as I mentioned before. All right, so in terms of the delivery mode, um, for uh, each of subjects, we require students to spend around 150 hours um, uh, study time, uh, which um, 
uh, including like 30 plus hours in block mode, uh, block lectures, tutorials, and workshops. And also for the remaining time, uh, we expect students to spend on the reading and also to completing the assignment. Um, in terms of the admission requirements for the graduate certificate in construction management, we require applicants to have a, 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 recon, sorry, a recognized a bachelor's degree and also at least one year industry experience. Um, and other admission uh, or another alternative admission requirement is a minimum of five years uh, relevant experience. So what I mean here is, um, if you don't have um, like a recognized bachelor degrees um, and you don't have one year uh, relevant industry experience, uh, and other alternative alternative admission requirements is a minimum of five years uh, but, but, sorry relevant experience. Um, for the graduate diploma in construction management, um, the admission requirement is very similar. We require um, the applicants to have a recognized bachelor degree and one year industry experience or a minimum of five year relevant experience. And for those applicants who have completed the UTS graduate certificate in construction, in construction management, and um, they will be mixed in a threshold over. And in your, in your admissions, uh, actually in the submission of the um, uh, on the material or all the documents, um, make sure you also submit a personal statement and employer's letter and also CV uh, as part of the application. Um, and other features of this program is um, for the graduate certificate in construction management, um, we have provided uh, the Commonwealth supported places and this is available for the local students. Um, if you are uh, admit to UTS as a Commonwealth supported student, you hold a Commonwealth supported place. So this means that the Australian government will make uh, a contribution towards the cost of education and you just pay the balance for the student contributions. Um, if you want to know a bit more information about the Commonwealth well supported places, you can just go to this uh, website. All right. Yep, this is the, actually the website of the Commonwealth uh, supported place um, in the UTS uh, website. Okay. All right, so um, after student completes the graduate um, diploma in construction management, uh, they're able to complete the UTS master of project management with additional four subjects only. So actually this is a very popular pathway for more, most of the uh, graduates in uh, graduate diploma in construction management. Um, because yeah, just additional four subjects, you can get a master degree and um, you also get a um, you know, better professional regulations by different professional bodies. So for example, it's the uh, master of project management is recognized by the uh, project management institutes, um, global accreditation centers for the um, um, project management education program and also the Royal Institutions uh, Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors, RICS, which is from the UK. Um, the Master of Project Management course is also endorsed by the Australian Institute of Project Management. Um, yeah, if you are interested to apply the graduate certificate, this is the link. Yep, when you go to this link, you can find uh, further information about the certificate program, um, like the uh, subjects, the, um, the course, the details, the fees, and the also details about how to apply it. Okay. And this is, and there's another link, which is for the graduate diploma. And this one is for the graduate diploma in construction management. And it provides you also the details about the program, about the 
course information and also how to apply. All right, so um, there's some content information uh, for you if you want to know a bit more about the course information and also the administrative issue of the applications. Please um, contact the DAB Communications um, through the email, through this email address, dab.communications at uts.edu.au. If you have any questions about the um, academic size of the program, like the subjects, the course, and other details, you can contact the course director, Dr. Arisu. Um, this is her email address, or contact myself. Um, I, I'm the acting course director. And this is my email address. All right. So I see there are two questions in the chat room. Oh, actually, it's the details uh, of the uh, applications. Um, the link of the, uh, to the applications. All right. Um, just wonder any questions. Um, yep. Yeah, I can see there's a there's an applicant with questions. Uh, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi. Hi. Are you? Oh, sorry. sorry, I cannot hear you clearly. Um. Sorry, can, can, can you say again? I can't hear clearly. Oh, would you mind type, type the questions if you don't mind? Ah, oh, yeah, I see. Okay, I, I find this one question here uh, from one of the um, attendants. Uh, what is the big biggest difference between certificate of um, construction management and the diploma. Yes, yeah. let me just go back to the slide. Um, yeah, the main difference between the uh, graduate certificate in construction management and the graduate diploma in construction management is graduate certificate is a shorter program, which is only like uh, uh, one year. Uh, with two subjects per semester. So what I mean is in graduate certificate altogether, you only need to um, enroll four subjects to complete four subjects. For the graduate diploma, uh, the total subjects you have to complete is eight subjects, which is like double up. So um, for some of students, um, they do it part-time. So which means that they will take like four subjects per semester and um, and they completed in one year. And for those students who want to do it part-time, they just take like two subjects per semester for four semester. So they completed in two years. Um, do I answer your questions? Yes, yeah, so another question is also about what's the difference between the graduate certificate and graduate diploma, yeah. Yeah, and um, yeah, and also um, what I will, what I can say is the graduate diploma, of course, is um, better than the graduate certificate because you learn more subjects, and also you are provided with a pathway to um, complete a master of project management with additional four subjects. Um, I saw another question. Uh, I worked full time five to six days a week. How many days are required to come to UTS? Okay, good questions. Actually, uh, for most of subject is delivered uh, in block mode. Uh, what do you mean by block mode? Um, actually, is the most of subjects will deliver lights in two uh, weekends, um, lights 
from actually it's not just weekend actually it starts from like first day uh, Friday and Saturday and sometimes we also have class on Sunday so this is one block move uh, so the second block move maybe another week we put the same uh, like so delivery mode from first day Friday Saturday and Sunday so um, so when so this is um, actually um, uh, I mean benefits to those students for those students or um, who work like full time because um, like they can just spend the two weekends um, you know to study uh, to attend the class and then to complete all the uh, like the classwork um, and for the um, for actually I'm teaching one of the subjects for my subjects actually uh, you start on first day line so first day uh, evening and um, the next days will be on Friday and then Saturday so um, yeah student doesn't need to come back to UD every week um did I answer your questions all right I got another question um I would like to know if bachelor degree requirements can be from any field of study yeah so the um the the background study um the requirement is like from any field of study uh for example you can the bachelor degree can be from like business, from management, uh, from healthcare, and also from engineering. Um, so diploma is, and I forgot another question. So diploma is better. So after diploma, can we continue for bachelor as well? Um, yeah, but diploma is definitely better. So, but I would suggest you that after you complete your diploma, you should continue um, to do your post other postgraduate study. For example, you can do the um, project management as I mentioned in the slide here. Yeah. So you, after you finish the graduate diploma in construction management, um, you can continue to complete another postgraduate program, which is UTS Master of Project Management with additional four subjects only. All right, so four subjects, which means like two semesters for both of the students. All right, so um, does, all right, do we have any examination? Yeah, uh, it really depends on the subjects. Some subjects have examinations, some subjects just purely based on the project. So, I mean, it's, 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 it's actually core project based. So, um, yeah, for like, for example, for my subjects, uh, construction, course, control and planning, we don't have any examinations. Uh, we only require students to complete the, um, the assignments and also the online quizzes. All right, another question is, is the course delivered online or in person? Um, actually, um, at the moment, because um, we're still affected by the COVID, for um, most of the subjects uh, is still delivered online. Um, but starting from the next year, we expect some of the subjects will be delivered on campus in person, but we still have a number of subjects delivered online. All right. Um, let me check if I have any other questions. All right, I don't have any more questions right now. Um, yeah, which units require a background in engineering? Um, actually, uh, we don't uh, have any prerequisites, any subjects prerequisites which require a background in engineering. But if you are from like engineering backgrounds or um, like uh, constructions background, it will be better for you to understand the concept. Um, so um, yeah, my answer is there's no prerequisites requirements for like for those students with uh, engineering backgrounds. Um, I got another question, which is about the CV. So we have to have CV to get approval to the entry of study. Yep. Um, yeah, you need to prepare a uh, CV um, together with your uh, submission together with your applications. 
um, for the entry requirements, what career and times of work is considered relevant experience? All right, so um, yeah, if you have, if you work in the construction industry, uh, engineering industry, that will be considered as the relevant, industry, uh, relevant experience. Uh, unfortunately, if unfortunately if you work in other industry or other disciplines outside construction and engineering, uh, we won't consider as relevant. Um, with the subjects just mentioned in prison, yep, will there be an online options for anyone regional and unable to make it? To the university. Yep. Um, yeah, uh, we will provide uh, optional material for those students who cannot attend classes um, because of like the geographical reasons or special considerations reasons. Yeah, we will provide uh, all that material to the students. All right. All right. I need to get any way to improve my learning. Okay. Um, yeah, for the next questions, I will answer it in person. Um, all right. Yep. This. All right. Um, sorry, I got another one. Yes, another question. Sorry, when you consider an applicant an applicant's work experience, at what level industry experience do you expect them to have? All right, we don't have uh, any strict requirements about the uh, the level of industry experience because, um, like. If as long as you can show that you are working in the uh, engineering on constructions industry or your work is related to the engineering and construction industry, that is the our that is our requirement. So we don't actually require certain level of industry experience to fulfill the entry requirements. Um, what about if I did architect degree 10 years ago in university will be considered relevant cost? Yep. As long as your, um, um, your previous study, your bachelor's um, study is relevant to, um, uh, it's, it's kind of like considered recognized by UTS, that is not a problem. Um, if you want to get more information, you can send and an email to me and I can answer it in person. Uh, please send me an email for details. All right. So I think I got one more question here. Uh, when, the, when do the application close? All right. Um, I think I'll let um, our officer to answer this question. I'm not quite sure when the um, application closes. Let me just check the, um, the programs. Informations. Um, let me just check for you. All right. Oh, okay. I got some information here. Um, okay. It's the final closing day for the application for summer semester and it's the 6th of November. But um, no, no, no. Hang on. Sorry. Uh, final closing dates for application for the main Canada. Uh, autumn semester 203, uh, sorry, 2023 is the 30th of January. So the deadline is 30th of January. All right, if you want to start next year, 
Um, the deadline is 30th of January. All right, so uh, let me check other questions. Uh, can I have an email? Yeah, uh, my email is, my email is johnny.wongwong at uts.edu. All right, when is the start? Date, starting dates for study next year. Um, actually, um, for most of the uh, program, we start around uh, late February and early March. All right. Um, yep, we start around late February and early March every year. Okay. All right. Um, any other questions? Yeah, otherwise, um, yeah, if you have any other questions after the um, this uh, webinar, uh, please feel free to send me an email. And my email address is in the chat room, uh, johnny.wong at uts.edu.au. Um, you can also contact um, the faculty, um, the admission people, which is the, um, uh, their email address is dab.communication at uts.edu.au. All right. So, um, Thank you everyone for joining this webinar this evening. Um, I hope that I will see you next year. And uh, if you have any questions about the program, the admissions requirements, please feel free to contact us again. Thank you so much, everyone.